What's up, everybody? I'm Damon Hatfield here with Fran Mirabella. Uh, Fran's gonna be going to CES very yeah. soon. We were just talking about all the exciting things we're gonna see there. You know, everyone's talking about 4K, both 4K televisions, content, but we know beyond 4K, 8K is a thing. They had 8K televisions at CES last year. Mm -hmm. So as you're going to CES, you're gonna be seeing more 8K stuff. Should, should people wait on buying 4K? TVs right. just wait for 8K? Yeah, we're in that whole zone again. We're waiting. I was going to get a 1080p TV yeah. finally, so should I wait for 4K? And now it's like, wait, I heard about 8K. Yeah. Uh, and so now that's going to be more of a thing you're hearing about this year. So should you wait for 8K and buy that TV instead? Um, so the easy answer is do not wait. Uh, unless you're super rich, then definitely wait. Uh, buy an 8K TV when they're like readily available. And mm. they're not going to be that available, to be quite honest. They're not going to manufacture a ton of these. 8K. Mm is just right, let's start at 4K actually. Let's start there. Four times the resolution of 1080p. Mm -hmm. And then 8K is four times the resolution of uh, 4K. Yeah. So it's crazy, it's 7680 by 4320 is the actual resolution. So mm -hmm. it's just, it's crazy. It's something like 33 megapixels, yeah. where 4K is like eight megapixels. So even you're, if you were just trying to download or stream 8K content, like our current yeah. bandwidth, it just couldn't support it, right? Yeah, so actually, let's just workshop that for a second. So I don't think Netflix has had much commentary on it yet because there's not any support for 8K on Netflix. Um, you know, they're focused on 4K and HDR, and you need a recommended 25 megabits per second of bandwidth. So, you know, most people... Checks out. Yeah, <laughs> I hope it does. Uh, most people are struggling to get that. I think the actual bandwidth is somewhere around 16 megabits per second mm. to watch what little is available in 4K. They are expanding the library though. Mm. So again, we're sitting here talking about 4K, your required bandwidth. So like 8K is just not on the radar. And I think, you know, you can watch some stuff in 4K, but just like, have you even really played much in 4K yet? No, I haven't, no. Yeah, I mean, we have it set up in the office here, but there's, you know, there's, yeah. there's still not a lot of content out there that supports it. Yeah, and like I just got a PS4 Pro. I am, as you can tell, I love a good TV. Um, there's definitely some good stuff on sale right now, but uh, there's going to be some really cool TVs that are 4K yeah. HDR, not 8K. We will cover 8K, by the way, but it's going to be like in awe. We don't discriminate. Like yeah, K's, so exactly. <laughs> But you know, my point is we'll cover these huge, crazy expensive TVs mm -hmm. that have beautiful source footage running in the background from Lord knows what box. Um, and it's gonna be amazing. But like, right, games, yeah. Netflix, but the reality of what we do is just not 8K ready. Sure. Cool. Well, friend, we'll be at CES along with uh, IGN's crew. So for all the updates on 4K content and 8K content, mm -hmm. stay tuned, IGN. See you there.